Games are a big part of my life growing up. I was obsessed with Crash Bandicoot and played through the different games a dozen times over. Collecting crystals and shiny gems became a full-time hobby, and I have very fond memories of my virtual adventures during that time. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm telling you this. Well, the book we're reviewing today tells the tale of two game designers as they navigate life through childhood and into adulthood with highs and lows, yet unlike most stories that focus on the relationship of a boy and a girl, this can connection is far from straightforward and not at all what you'd expect. To put it bluntly, this is not a tale of romance. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is a fictional work written by author Gabrielle Zevin. The book tells the tale of Sam Mazur and his ongoing relationship with Sadie Green. Despite the deep connection the two share and the obvious love they feel for one another, not once do they end up together. However, where their romance fails, their ability to create does not. The two collaborate to engineer video games that become renowned for their unique style and gameplay. At the very start of this book, as a young Sam Mazer walking through a subway station in Boston when he notices a girl, Sadie Green, walking past him. A girl whom he had a bitter childhood fallout with and had stopped speaking to so many years ago. Sam is compelled to talk to Sadie and the two begin a friendship once more. In this first encounter, the fleeting nature of choice and chance, a theme commonly explored throughout this work, is evident. Sadie begins walking away from Sam at the end of their conversation and Sam wonders if he'll ever see her again. She walks back after a brief moment's pause and hands Sam a game she's been working on for her computer science major. On the game's readme file is Sadie's university email address. She asks Sam to give his feedback. This brief encounter completely shapes the future life of these two characters. It paves the way for all that is to come. And yet, if Sadie had not walked back, if Sam had caught a different train, this chance encounter, this serendipity, would never have happened. The title of this work stems from the famous soliloquy from William Shakespeare's Macbeth. The phrase reflects on the fleeting nature of life and the inevitability of death. It is a bitter pill to swallow, but one we must all endure. The characters of this work are no different and often contemplate how life would be so different if, like a video game, you could keep playing over and over until you got the outcomes you wanted. This book is a tale of success and failure. It deals with our want for control, but our ultimate surrender to the chaos that is life. In the life of Sam and Sadie, mistakes are made. Mistakes that compound to produce different outcomes. Unlike the linear path, of a video game, life is ever changing, ever moving, and never slows down to assist you or wait to see if you've caught up. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is a book that continuously showcases this fact, highlighting it against the realities of a video game where one can play a level over and over and over again. The very idea of a tomorrow is starkly opposed to a game where any tomorrow is in fact redoable. Such freedoms in life are not attainable. Sam and Sadie work together on a game called Ishiguro, which becomes an instant classic. Together with Sam's wealthy roommate, Marx Watanabe, they later found the company Unfair Games and work as game developers full time, while Marx works as a producer. During these early chapters, the care and affection Sam and Sadie share for one another becomes quickly apparent. Despite Sadie going through depression and isolating herself from the world, Sam does not give up and offers her his support, comfort and friendship despite her protests against it. Sam will continually walk to her flat despite his disability and despite her attempts to isolate him from her life. Eventually Sam's efforts pay off and Sadie recovers from her period of melancholy. Later Sam proposes that they should work together on a game. This is again a pivotal moment where the outcome of of this moment has a significant impact on the future of these characters. Had Sam relented to Sadie's requests, she may never have gotten better and thus the collaboration between these two characters may never have happened. Sam would never have experienced the joy of working with a girl whom he deeply cares about and gets on with so well. Again, this book is drawing on the fleeting nature of life and decisions or outcomes are greatly affected even if choices are opposed. Sometimes you get to play a chapter of your life perfectly, while in others you wish you could go back, restart and try again. While there are highs in this book, there are also lows. This book tells of how life can be so 
unpredictable, so very sudden and vanishing. In the telling of these themes, a narrative is created that can be hard to bear. Certainly when I was reading this book, I was reminded of times in my own life when things didn't play out as I would have wanted. Despite us being intelligent creatures, we can't know what comes next. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow highlights this attribute of human nature and creates a tale that is full of life, but also laden with regret. This is not, as one quote said, the best book I've ever read, but it is a great work. I'll admit it slows down in the middle a, a tad too much. It leaves a lot to be desired within that section, but the dynamic of the central relationship and the reflection of choice and chance makes for some great reading and some also very thoughtful reading. You don't need to be a hardcore gamer to understand this book. There are plenty of prompts to explain things that you might not be familiar with, so please don't be put off by the context here. If you do pick up this book, and if you do finish it, I hope you'll have experienced the brilliant, if slightly tragic relationship between a man and a woman. You'll likely feel some regret for missed action in your own life as you draw parallels, but more importantly, I hope you'll realize how quickly things can change, how fleeting the nature of life can be, and how one moment, despite being so short, can define us for the rest of our life. My friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you here again soon for another book review. Bye-bye.